What is going on, everybody? So, apparently I've been living under a rock for maybe the past year. In a previous video, I showed you how to install Docker and Docker Compose on Linux Mint. And we just did a sudo apt-get install docker.io and one for Docker Compose, and I just ran those. So this all came about a month or so back when I was trying to uh, walk through this project from Start Data Engineering, which is a great blog, and I will link down in the description. So I went ahead and I get cloned that. Actually, I just copied that so I don't need it. And so when we go to uh, local dev, and we do make up, well, we get this gnarly output here. And it's running docker space compose. So, okay, let's take a look at the make file. And there's a space in docker compose. So, I was like, okay, typos. Go ahead and save that. And we get more gnarly output. Uh, so I emailed Joseph, who actually uh, does this blog. Uh, really smart guy. And he said, well, I'm using Docker Compose version 2. Well, as a Linux user, about every other time I log in, I update and upgrade everything and said, hey, I'm on the latest version, uh, and I didn't hear back. So it occurred to me yesterday, it's like, okay, well, what's the difference between Docker-Compose and Docker-Compose? I assumed he was on Enterprise Edition, uh, but the first search result was, it's the newer project migrated uh, to Go, so I think Docker-Compose is written in Python, uh, and it's the uh, version two and you install it with docker compose plugin so oops i did not realize that and i'm really surprised it wasn't on my radar so in this video we're going to walk through um how to fix that and then upgrade to, uh, or I guess switch to actually pulling from Docker's repo rather than the PPA in uh, Linux. So, uh, let's see, I believe that's remove. And I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete the binary uh, on Docker Compose. It should get removed, but I'm not sure. So just be safe. We're going to uh, go ahead and remove that. And I always want to put uninstall here for some reason. I'm just going to switch that over to remove. And and that's just going to clean up any dependencies that came down with those uh, those installs or any of the other installs that we just don't need anymore. So I'm going to say docker compose install Linux. And this is showing me how to install docker compose. But you know what? The if I add Docker as a source, um, 
in Linux, I should be good and then I should be able to uh, install, update, upgrade, all that good stuff. And you can run this from anywhere. I don't know why, I just feel better running this in my home directory. Okay, and that wasn't located. That's pretty normal. Okay, this time doing it by the book, I am going to update first. This is a fresh install, so that might take a moment. Oh, that was quick. All right, here we go. Install these dependencies. And then we need to make the keyring directory. Um, that all looks good. So that's just giving us a way to uh, to validate, verify that uh, everything's good when we're pulling updates and things like that. Uh, as far as Docker. Uh, and with that docker compose so now that that's added this is the piece that's going to add this to our source list uh, if you're on Ubuntu this will run fine uh, but I just happen to know from experience that my I don't know what you'd want to call that release uh, base name is actually jammy so we go to distributions and we go to jammy and it looks like it's going to use that and stable uh, you could probably use nightly build if you want to be cool uh, but I do know what was that PySpark no um, one of the widely used uh, PyPy indexes uh, was just hit with a supply chain attack and that was in the nightly build so I'm just going to shy away from that and we can just copy this. Again, if you're on Ubuntu, you can just run this. Uh, you'll be fine. For me, I'm going to paste it. There's a code name variable you can substitute that returns jammy. I just happen to know what it is. Uh, so I'm just going to hard code that. And that should be good. Uh, permission denied. Usually means I need to sudo. Let's make that a little bigger. Let's see. Good, that's, oh, I see. Okay, it looks, no, that should be good. Is there an issue with the copy? Let's, well, here, let's try grabbing that whole thing. And we're just going to change this to jammy. Control V instead of Control Shift V first. 
looking better. Okay. Okay, it looks like I was just missing a whack there. I'm not sure exactly what that message was about, but we should be good. Did not receive an error. Install Docker engine. Updates probably always good. So we'll go ahead and run that. All right. And so this piece here the Docker plugin. So that's going to be the Docker Compose piece. And I probably should have showed you uh, before I added this piece right here and added it to the uh, sources list. That would have just said, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know what package that is. It does have docker-compose, but it does not have docker-compose-plugin. And we'll give that a moment here. Ooh, failure. because I did not add myself to the Docker group. Now let me go to my GitHub real quick just because I know a long while back I did an install here so or I scripted the install so it's kind of a nice reference for me to to grab these commands. So, modify user, add to group, what group, docker, what user. I could just type Gary um, or just, you know, if I echo, Uh, so I'm going to switch user to my current user. Seems like this works 50% of the time. And I can't up arrow because I just logged in technically. So No output is usually good. We'll check the status. All right. So now if we go back to local dev and we're going to change the make file back to the way it was originally. Look at that beautiful output. So I guess the graphics are better in Docker Compose version 2. And so I think it was released April last year, so I wasn't too late. Um, but just to show you one of the reasons, I mean, with technology in general, you want to be on the latest version, of course. That's where the latest features are released. 
Uh, if you have issues uh, and you're reporting those to GitHub, they're going to want you to be pulling directly from them and not the PPAs. Uh, and just to kind of show you what I mean, if I do, uh, I think I can do this without sudo. So this is going to show me what would happen if I installed docker.io. So the candidate is listed here. So that's what would be installed if, or what we did install and then uninstalled. So we can go out here and we can plug that in and say docker.io. Okay, launch pad. So be pulling from here. Uh, you look 3 7 2022. Uh, so it looks like this hasn't been. Oh, and there's Jammy. So it looks like this hasn't been updated in about a year. Uh, whereas if I went to GitHub, Docker Compose, let's see. They've got a nice area for releases here. Yeah, sure enough, version two. Uh, I have a feeling it's right in front of me. Probably right there. Okay, so you see, actually, what I was looking for was right in front of me. So if you look two weeks ago, as opposed to almost a year ago, and that's eh, still running, but let's see. Pose, actually. And just because it's called plugin, that leads me to believe it's not a separate piece of software. It's going to add a plugin to Docker itself where it accepts the command uh, compose rather than having a program written in Python that then uses Docker's capabilities, which is written in Go. Uh, if that's not correct or you have any comments on that, feel free to uh, leave it down in the comments section. I always like to learn more. So there we are. Those versions match, and we are good to go. And there are my containers. Uh, Loader, Postgres, Metabase. Again, I will link Start Data Engineering down in the description. Hopefully this helps some of you out, helped you understand a little bit better the differences between uh, downloading from the source or uh, the actual authors of the software as opposed to using the uh, PPAs that come uh, pre-built into the Linux distros. Uh, but that's it for now and I will see you in the next video.